sure of that, so I'm going to wait until this little marker reaches the 10 second mark. 8, 9, 10. All right. <clears throat> so let me lower this. And this. And this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of that show that will not be named. I am your host, Brian, or 2K Prince, whatever you prefer. Dropping the Markiplier voice. And today, I would like to share with you something that is very important to me. Something I've always wanted to get into. But something I just, I don't know, didn't really pursue that much. Now you'll have to excuse my desktop. There is a ton of shit on here. I am a very, very unorganized person. Um, aside from that, I would like to show y'all some art that I've done over the years. Some things some stuff that I'd like to present in a sort of, I guess, sort of roundabout a way, a kind of art portfolio, if that's all right. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, basically, I'm going to preface this by saying that I would love to be a concept designer, concept artist for video games and whatnot. The only thing is, I'm not very good at advertising myself, and I'm not very good at getting my stuff out there so i guess this video is going to kind of serve as kind of like a hey hire me please type of video so having said that let's jump right in with i don't know this sword i made the other day basically it's just gonna be me clicking on things which this isn't very good but it's i guess it's something I called it Leviathan because I wrote a short story the other day with a sword in it called Leviathan. And yeah, that's the whole reason this exists. So, this is just supposed to be like a platinum blade. Platinum uh, ice blade, I guess. I don't know. I worked on this while I was watching a timeline video on YouTube for the series Claymore. Yeah, so that's, that's that. Next up, I'm just going to move all the stuff that I have over here. Next up is um, something actually kind of familiar that you've seen if you ever watched my streams on Twitch, which is this character. His name is Fizzy, and he is a bubble ranger. And the whole point uh, of this whole thing... Hang on a second. Yes. Okay, now the whole point of this was I originally had these which were going to be his different suits um you have the original a water one a fire one and a special suit and basically he would have shut the fuck up basically he would have you know different abilities ranging on these different outfits that he would wear only it kind of struck me that the water suit was kind of pointless i guess in his original form he could shoot bubbles in his new form, he could shoot water, just straight water. Fire is fire, and special was going to be like stars, like he shoots stardust or something. But then I eventually ended up shrinking it down to these three suits. And I don't know, maybe I'll bring this one back if this ever gets actually picked up as a video game idea. But I pictured it as like a side scroller, um, and he like shoots bubbles and he could do different things with bubbles and i actually invented like a, i created like a whole world that he could go into the levels the i've made level layouts i made enemies which you'll see in a few minutes but yeah this is when my video game concept idea kind of like took off so da -da -da. these I'm going to go with the boring stuff first, just to get the boring shit out of the way. These were different fruits that I had, um, just concepts for. I'm like, okay, it's going to be on a tropical island, uh, the idea for the game. So, and that game's idea was Fizzy Bubble Ranger, by the way. Um, it's a dream, man. It's a dream. What do you want? So, yeah, there's a... A uh, bomb fruit, a bam fruit, bam bim, and I didn't make boom or boom, but uh, yeah, basically there's different types of fruits. They all got giant red bees on them, and they all do different things. So that's just it's a bam. 
I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it's a very early 2000s type game idea, but I don't know. I like it. Those of you who saw the last video will recognize this picture. This is a picture that I did of Edgar Allan Poe. I don't know what I was thinking with that mustache because I'm pretty sure. I don't even know if Poe had a mustache like that. I can't even remember. Yeah, but this, this picture was done. Uh, I forgot when I did this. I did this a little while back. This was like bit probably a month or two or three ago. Yeah, but. Edgar Allan Poe. I also did one in color that I can't seem to find. It's whatever. This one's all right. So yeah, that's Edgar Allan Poe. Next up, continuing with the video game motif, I created these little dudes. Oh, just for funsies, that's my wallpaper of fizzy. Um, I created these little characters that would be in the game. Uh, this is Gobbin. I guess he would be like an enemy. He's a goblin named Gobbin. <laughs> You'd have multiple ones of him. Maybe I'd make a big version of him. it would be like a bad guy. Some other bad guys in the game would be the Mad Berries. They would come in two colors. That light blue and that red. I thought these were very, very cool designs. I don't know. I don't mean to tip my own horn, but I thought they were pretty good ideas. I mean, you just take an inanimate fucking object and then add eyes to it. I mean, it's it's genius. It's genius. So, yeah. That's what I got for him. Goblin. I really like how Goblin came out. Because I was going for a very specific kind of look with him. And the whole, the whole box rectangle thing. It, just, it was perfect. Also, I love drawing digitally because the line work on these guys is just perfect. So, those are Madberries and Goblin. Next up on my art portfolio is, okay, now this is not a digital drawing. This is a regular drawing I did, but I figured it looked kind of cool. So, um, yeah, I ended up, uh, this is supposed to be a character that I made. His name is the Cowboy Samurai. It's a character I conceptualized years ago. Uh, I actually started to write a screenplay for a movie about this character, realistically. And the screenplay, I kind of got tied up with it when I got to the part uh, where I introduced the main bad guy. Hey, there's that colored picture of Edgar Allan Poe. Boom. Um, but yes, as far as the Cowboy Samurai goes, I kind of... Um, I just drew this one picture of him. Just to like kind of give a general idea of what he looks like. And yes, before you even ask. Yes, I did do it in the art style of uh, Mike Mignola's Hellboy. Only because I was nuts uh, about that um, that art style for a very long time. And I wasn't going to be... I wasn't satisfied until I, you know, did something in it. So, there you go. This Cowboy Samurai. And colorful Edgar Allan Poe. Which, to be totally honest, between this and the other Edgar Allan Poe picture, I like the other one better. Way better. So that's that good. Oh, next up, these were other characters that were going to be in the video game. I pictured them as like these these Japanese spirits or whatever. They would have uh, different names. They'd be like Sento Sento, NN, Paiku Paiku, and Shapu Shapu. They basically just like be different colors, so they'd all have like this swirly thingy on their chest that would like it would like spin around. It could like I don't know hypnotize you or some shit. But now, yeah, so just these little guys. I don't know. I thought they. I had a dream. That's what originally happened. I had a dream about these, and then I'm like, hmm, because I had a dream like I was like. I was at some kind of temple or some shit, and these dudes were like, st like there was red ones, and they were just standing in a row, like four red ones, and they were just staring out at space, and I was just like, okay. So I woke up, drew them, and the rest is history. So yeah, those are those dudes. Um, next up, we have, just to get this guy out of the way, what did I name this? I named this a Magician Knight. Now this... I was just trying to draw something cool, something that looked cool-ish. So, 
This is something I originally planned for a card game because I was trying to make a card game for the longest time. Um, until I realized working on projects alone is just no fun. So, I, I don't know. I was going to make a whole line of these and they were originally going to be like, you see, can you picture that on a trading card? Eh, maybe, maybe if I shrink it down a little more. That picture on a trading card, maybe. Um, it's what the original plan was. And I don't know, I just ended up not doing anything with it. I was going to make a line of them, though. Like, this is the like the Magician Knight. There was going to be like a Rook, a Bishop, a King, an Ace, um, a Paladin, a yada, yada, yada. And they were all going to look generally like this. In this black, white, and gray, and all that jazz. But I don't know. Like I said, ended up never really getting around to making the rest of them. I had no incentive to. But yeah. Next on my little art portfolio is something a little giving. I got something a little, a little, a little weakness of mine. I tried my best to see if I could recreate, not recreate, but create my own Pokemon map. So I created the Oliver region. Ready for this? Ready for this? Keep your seats. Every town is named after an olive. Now, unfortunately, I made the mistake. Not all these. Because I do know which locations are which. I made a list. Not all of these locations are towns. Some of them are forests. Some of them are other things. So what I ended up doing was... Um, I ended up just, you know... I'm like, yeah, fuck it. It looks good enough. And I decided to just make, you know, this map. And I tried my best to copy what the original map looked like. The Kanto region for... Um, Leaf Green, because that's Leaf Green and Fire Red, because those are my favorite uh, versions of Pokemon. So, yeah, this is the Oliver region that I made. Which, I don't know, I'm not sure if it looks basic. To me, it looks cool, because this took a fucking while to make. And before, in case you're wondering, yes, that is Florida flipped and then turned on its side. So, yeah, the Oliver region. I'm so proud of that. I don't know, I, should I be proud of that? I'm so proud of that. Next up is a triple whammy of creatures that I made, I don't even know how long ago. These three I did, I can't remember when. Oh, I know exactly what I did. I made these when I really got into stands because, uh, what do you call it? I just got really interested in stands. Uh, when I was watching JoJo. And I'm like, hmm, I can make my own. But instead of drawing these massive humanoid type creatures and stuff like that. I'm like, let's simplify it. And make the stands just like these little dudes. Let me make sure this is still going. Is this, is this alright? Yeah, it should be good. Okay. So yeah, I made these dudes. And this is, obviously I gave them names. Uh, eventually I'm like, you know, they could probably just be characters in the game idea. That I was trying to sell. But this is, what is it? This Clopster, a Spiker, and a Batscar. So, Batscar, Spiker, Clopster. So, yeah. Those are just three dudes. Three guys. Uh, and the whole point of these is that this dude's arms, each of them basically is shit that would, like, projectile hit you. Like, this dude's arms with the blades on it would be able to go out and, like, hit you. The dude's spikes would be able to either extend or he'd be able to fire them from his slimy body. And the bat, the whole thing with the bat was that his face would like laugh and shit. And that little jewel on what looks like its head would be able to shoot a laser. So, yeah. They're just some, some ideas. Someone please hire me. Uh, da -da -da -da. This next one... This picture is actually a secret about something I don't want to reveal quite yet. Something that I'm planning for something else. So I'm not going to mention too much about it. But yeah. This is, uh, I will tell you this much. This man's name is Shigure. And that's all I'm going to say about that. When I come back to it. I don't know how long in the future, but I will come back to it at some point. Next up, I was going to show you these guys, right? So I was going to show you, these are some, you know, some, these are jelly beans. Look at them. Aren't they cute? 
and then these are evil eyes or what I what I called the evil eyes and basically these were part of a card game that I was making um, it was a game gaming concept that I was trying to make and the whole thing was that I only made two decks the game would have um, the game would have needed uh, whoever was playing it basically to just you have a deck of 10 cards 10 creature cards and that's the game you would play with just those 10 creatures maybe I would implement other <coughs> cards later on but the whole point that you know you versus your opponent each of you got 10 cards it was like a war type scenario kind of but a little different and um, the whole point of the card game was that uh, I I just made these two decks. I made a jelly bean deck, and then I made an evil eyes deck or an eye deck. And I don't know. Ended up not really going anywhere. Uh, didn't do much with it. But I, don't know. I like the idea. Maybe I'll do something with it someday. We'll see. But yeah. Uh, and then to finish all this off, I have, I guess this spooky little character I made after watching a lot of horror games. I really liked the idea. This was the first character I ever did with the idea of like the pointy limbs, like the limbs are just pointy and like the whole little baggy thing, like there's no differentiating, differentiating between his crotch and his legs because it's just kind of, it's a hoop, a hoop. And it just kind of goes like that. But yeah. Love this idea. Love this little guy. Like the way I was able to do his eyes and shit. It's really nice. And then lastly. To finish off the whole video game concept idea. Yada yada yada. I made these bad guys. You see. These bosses. They could be bosses or they could be just other bad guys. First one is called Bomber. And obviously they're just supposed to be like series of like iron uh, balls or whatever that are controlled by these little gems and basically how you beat them is you destroy the gem or the jewel or whatever the shit but that's bomper obviously i created different versions there's and there's the bombster <laughs> don't laugh at me bomper bombster then there's a bombite Which is supposed to have like, it's supposed to be like a, sh okay, I'll explain them after I get them all up here. And then a bombet. Now, obviously, a bombet is, you know, I'll explain them in order. Fuck that. Bomper is supposed to be like the toughest one, hardest one of them all, because the whole point is how can you get into here? Because obviously the floor would be here. You'd be like, how can I get in here to get underneath this guy to psh, 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 break this? And obviously, my idea was that you'd be like, uh, you'd have, you know, fizzy. And he would blow his bubbles and then this would this would break after a while. Um, so yeah, that's just that's the bomper. Then you would have bombster, which yes, it means monster. Uh, which you would have to get on top of him to, to break that to jump over to the other side. I'm not sure how you would fight him, but I'm sure I would you could build a platforming environment to make him be able to do that. Next up is Bompite. Which, the whole point of him is that he's supposed to hold, balance or hold his crystal on this hand. It's supposed to mean a uh, bombite. It's supposed to be a knight. So, he's supposed to guard that jewel with his shield right there. And, yeah. That's what I have for him. And then, lastly, is Bombet. Which is just supposed to be... She's supposed to be able to curl it and just guard the jewel with her long arm and striking fist thingamajiggy. Whatever the hell this is. So, yeah, I think that's how I'm going to end off this video. These are basically all of my graphic art design ideas, or at least most of them. I definitely have way more, but I'm just having trouble finding the rest of them. They're buried. Most of them are just buried under so much shit. I had a really cool design somewhere. 
these are the old old way the cards used to look before I decided to change them into uh, like the newer ones you know the newer design because I figured a, I, I figured a futuristic design looked better than this old craggy you know wannabe Yu-Gi-Oh look I also decided to square off the art more because I like square boxes. But yeah, I wanted it to I wanted the cards to be more art than text and boxes and shit. So this is what they used to look like, this is what they look like now. If this card game ends up going anywhere, god knows. I still have the um I still have the video game idea that I want to do stuff with. But uh before you ask, yes. All this stuff is copyrighted, so if anyone steals it from me, I will literally eat you alive. Um, uh, trying to think what else I got on here. I know I got other stuff. Oh well, yeah, that'll probably just do it for that. Oh yeah, I uh, I was writing a Bible about Dionysus, and this is basically the universal symbol for um uh, the cult of Dionysus, or the neo cult of Dionysus, as I like to call it. Maybe I'll publish that one day and I'll post a link to it on here. Because, I, I, me personally, I love wine. Wine is one of my favorite things in the friggin' universe. And my friend, I was talking to him the other day, he's like, why don't you just make a religion based around it? And I'm like, that's a great idea. And he went, Brian, no, I'm kidding. And I went, yeah, it's a great idea. So, there you have it. This is this symbol. This is the universal symbol for Dionysus. I declare it. So, yeah. That's that, and that's that. So, yeah, tell me what you guys thought of my digital art in the comment section below. Is it inspired? Is it hacky? Is it terrible? Is it awful? Is it as bad as this black and white picture of a fly that I took back in 2012? I don't know why I took this. But, yeah, that does it for my digital art, and I hope y'all enjoyed your sales, and I hope y'all liked my shit. And, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.